Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we discuss the following question that says consider the relation between the area and the side of a square given by a is equal to x square. Draw the graph of the above function. From the graph find the side of square when area is 4 square units. Now let's move on to the solution. The given function is a is equal to x square. Now we need to draw the graph of this function. So for this, first we will make a table of values for x and the corresponding values for a. We take x to be the side of the square and a is the area of the square. This is the table that we have drawn, taking x in one row, that is the side of the square in one row, and a, that is the area of the square in the other row. Now, when we take x equal to 1, in this function a is equal to x square, we would get a as 1. Now, for x equal to 2, a would be equal to 2 square, that is equal to 4. For x equal to 3, we get a as 3 square, that is equal to 9. Then, for x equal to 4, we get a as 4 square equal to 16. So, this table means that when the side of the square is 1 units, its area is 1 square units. For side equal to 2 units, area of the square would be 4 square units. For side equal to 3 units, its area would be equal to 9 square units. And for side of the square as 4 units, its area is equal to 16 square units. So now we have got 4 points with coordinates 1, 1, 2, 4, 3, 9 and 4, 16. Let's name these points as A, B, C, and D respectively. Now that we have got four points, we can easily draw the graph of the function a is equal to x square by plotting these points on a graph paper. So we have drawn the x-axis and the y-axis. On x-axis we have represented the side of the square that is represented by x and on the y-axis we have taken the area of the square which is given by a. Now the scale that we have taken on the x-axis is one small square equal to one unit and on y-axis is one small square equal to two units. Now first point is point A with coordinates 1, 1. So for this, we start from the origin, since the x coordinate is 1, so we move 1 unit to the right. Then, as the y coordinate is 1, so from here we move 1 unit up. So we reach at this point. So this is the point 1, 1. That is the point A with coordinates 1, 1. Next we have point B with coordinates 2, 4. Now, x coordinate is 2, so from the origin we move 2 units to the right. And y coordinate is 4, so move 4 units up. So we would reach here. So this is the point B with coordinates 2, 4. Next point is point C with coordinates 3, 9. Now, x coordinate is 3, so from the origin we move 3 units to the right. Now, from here we move 9 units up. Since the y coordinate is 9, so we reach at this point. This is the point C with coordinates 3, 9. Last point is the point D with coordinates 4, 16. Now, x coordinate is 4, so from the origin we move 4 units to the right. We reach at this point. From here we move 16 units up since the y coordinate is 16. And we reach at this point. 
So this is the point D with coordinates 4, 16. Now we join the points A, B, C and D to get the required graph. So on joining the points A, B, C, D we get the graph for the function A is equal to x square. So this is the graph of the function A is equal to x square. Now from the graph we need to find the side of the square when its area is 4 square units. That is when we have A equal to 4 square units then x would be equal to what? On the y axis take a point L at A equal to 4 that is this is the point L. So we have taken on y axis at A equal to 4 take a point L then we draw LB perpendicular to the y axis meeting the graph at the point B. So we have taken this LB perpendicular to the y axis and it's meeting the graph at the point B. Clearly we have BL is equal to 2 units. Therefore we have when A is equal to 4 square units then X is equal to 2 units. Thus when the area of the square is 4 square units then the side of the square is 2 units. With this we complete this session. Hope you have understood the solution for this question.